greetings children welcome to the online classes this is aishwarya please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos the following video is for class 5 subject evs lesson 9 food as essence of life now in the first two part of this lesson we learned about what are the different food materials what are the nutrients present in it and uh, and we learned actually why the food is essence of our life right we become what we eat if we eat healthy food we will be healthy if we eat lot of junk food our health will also go to a junk or it will uh, it will be will become unhealthy understood so in the last video we did some of the exercises in your textbooks from page number 111118 sorry 117 and 118 so continuing with the lesson you have answered the questions haven't you some statements about the factors about the factors which decide the food we take are given so let's observe the uh, the statements are given in your screen also as well as your textbook in page number 119 let's see what they are although we are of same state our food system is on the basis of the climate and the food material which are available or grown in the region in which we live in south of karnataka we eat lo lot of ragi ragi balls and our and wheat also but northern part of karnataka we eat lot of jowar and um, akki roti or jolad roti right that way uh, their climate condition and our climate conditions the food that is grown in this region is different from that region that is why it is all depending upon the availability of that food material then the second statement is the food which we eat is decided by the tradition or beliefs of a particular family now it uh, what we eat some vegetarians and non vegetarians if you take consider it is about our belief we believe that we should human beings are not supposed to eat other animals that is why by choice we are uh, vegetarians then by choice or by family or uh, by tradition and by belief the family itself eats non veg that means all the people in the family also will eat non veg it depends on our traditions and beliefs of the each and every other family our food changes according to the season like summer rainy and winter right in summer you cannot eat too hot food and co winter you cannot eat cold food that way even the season also is changing the food that we eat now although all these aspects influence our food nowadays our food habits are becoming similar observe the following pictures the what are the pictures that are given a uh, capsicum bath where it is a recipe book then on a tv that you can see a cooking show on the phone you can see the cooking show then new uh, taste cookery book uh, the above factors are responsible for the change in the food habits they can be described as follows now we're going to see what are the uh, some of the different factors which have helped or which have influenced for the change of food habits on of different people in different places okay we started eating north indian dishes once we got, got to know about them okay then we started adapting to other food other countries food like the english breakfast eating an egg or a bread for breakfast that way also we have adopted as we are watching uh, or there are different factors which affect that food magazines and advertisements in advertisements they teach us or they tell us what can be healthy and everything then cooking related programs telecasted in tv channels and radios now uh, if you in the afternoon especially around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock if you check tvs almost all the channels there will be some cookery show somebody cooking something right so when you watch that you feel like learning it you cook it and you try it if you like it you continue it understood that is how our food habits are changing the new food habits have become common due to source of internet and the mobile phones and computers and then 
Cookery books. Due to influence of factors mentioned above, our food habits have changed as follows. Consumptions of food items like pizza, burger, sauce, sauce samosa, cornflakes, soup, soup, noodles, ice cream, chocolate chips have increased instead of consuming nutritional homemade food. Some of them are considered as junk food. The pizza, burger, sauce, samosa, these are all junk food. Uh, cornflakes or noodles noodles, ice creams, chocolates, they are all junk food. So we after watching a lot of TV and the phones and everything being influenced by the internet, we are changing our food consumption styles. We are shifting towards more less nutritional food from more nutritional food. The food that is made at home is more nutritional compared to the food that is available outside. Some television shows, the cooking books like this gobi manchuri and pani puri consuming sauce rich food items like gobi manchuri pani puri chinese food have become common the sauce contains certain chemicals which make food tastier now it has some it has a kind of salt which makes it tastier but it is very unhealthy consuming outside food instead of homemade food is on the increase today use of ready made food is uh, then eating fast food use use of ready-made food is increasing in the mechanical life and city or towns eating fast food is also an example for this fast food you just go order get your food eat it finish it no if if he's making it so soon either he had he had he has the old stock or he's not he's not preparing it in a healthy way so Sometimes it is fine, but you should not be completely dependent on the food that is available outside. Now, the effects of change in food habits. What are the effects that are uh, making it difficult for making it making our life unhealthy because we are switching from uh, nutritional food to the non-nutritional food? People fall sick easily. Okay, our uh, we are we had the capacity to fight back diseases, which is reducing because of our food habit, eating junk food, no nutritional foods. Then poisonous chemicals enter the body due to the intake of tasty food instead of health food. Now, what the picture you see on the screen is a picture of healthy food, not a. Um, chemical even in the fruits nowadays they are putting chemicals which is entering our body so we should clean the fruits before we intake them then other poisonous chemicals also are used in cooking food they uh, use it as preservatives and that preservatives can be hazardous or it can be injurious to human beings then body is losing power to fight diseases. Our immunity power is reducing because we are switching to less nutritional food. Then uh, consumptions of spicy food and junk food has given rise to the obesity problem. Today, ma uh, maximum number of Americans are obese because they are all dependent on the fast food that is available outside. They cook very less at home and they, when they cook, it is just an egg or something that is easier to cook. So it is suggested that we should switch to a healthier diet than an unhealthy junk food. Then ready-made food packets. Nowadays, food we eat is now available in packets. While buying them, observe the following points. What are the things that you need to observe? Date of manufacture and expiry date. Don't buy the food that is very close to expiry or it is very closer to the expiry date. Search for the food that has a, a more that is manufactured very recently now here in the picture best before three months for manufacturing it has been given right so uh, you should make sure you it is this was this picture i don't know when it was clicked but it says february 2014 was the manufacturing time so february march april you have to consume it it even in either in february or march don't buy it in april like that the ingredients added to the stuffs or quantity of chemicals now in the below they have given nutritional values okay this will be provided in all the uh, packets manufactured food or food 
packets so you should observe what are the ingredients that are used too much of sugar too much chemicals is not good for our health then temperature needed to preserve the packets sometimes it they will uh, sometimes it would have mentioned that on the packet itself please store it uh, in a dry place or please store in the cold storage it would have they would have mentioned so you should follow such instructions so there one last part of the lesson is left out we'll finish it in the next video i hope you understood till now stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you